guys, it's Hannah, and I'm here today with my January wrap up and my February TBR. So, this video is going to be quite long because I have quite a bit of books to talk about. If you guys see the thumbnail, you will know what's in store. So, let's just jump right on into it. I had a really good reading month for January, and I'm really hoping it continues for February. So, let's get into it. My first book that I want to talk about that I read for the month of January is Chew The Last Suppers. Volume 11. Now, I thought that The Last Suppers, you would think, was like the ending. It's not. And I even told you guys when I um, hauled this book that it was the last one. It's not the last one. I think the next one is the last one. But I still really love this series. I was a little disappointed with this book because it felt like a filler series or filler book. I love all the magical powers in this and the concept is still really cool, but it, the events in this book did really feel like a filler book, but the ending was phenomenal. I did rate this a 3.75 out of 5 stars, and I can't wait for the next one to come out. The next comic book I read this month is Gwen, or The Unbelievable Gwenpool, and this is really, really funny. So this is about a girl who reads comic books, and she is like all about comic books, and she gets thrown into the comic book world, and she there's a lot of fourth wall breaking, if you guys know Deadpool. Deadpool does a lot of fourth wall breaking, and I really love that aspect about him. And so she definitely does too, and it's like she's like, well, I can't die, I'm in a comic book, so that she just does all these crazy things. And she gets away with a lot of lucky catches. And there is, it's such an entertaining read. I gave this a four out of five stars and I highly recommend picking it up for a fun read. Next up, I read Champions and I got this. This is like really short, tiny little booklet. Um, it's a comic that you get in the Marvel Collector Car. If you guys haven't seen that, it is in my videos that I just posted. And this was, so the box was themed X-Men, right? It's got Cyclops on the cover. So I thought it was about Cyclops, right? So disappointed. Literally Cyclops is in here one time in this entire thing and it's at the end and it's just the picture. Like it ju just looks like this. Now I've got to find it. I'm committed. Let's see. But this is all about like Kamala Khan and Spider-Man and her adventures. And I was really disappointed because I thought it was going to be like the traditional X-Men, like it's from an X-Men box. So I don't know why they chose this comic book to be, but I was real disappointed. The fact that it's taking me this long to find where Cyclops is, is ridiculous. Because if he's on the cover, he should be like the main focus of the story. Look at this guys, like second to last page, this is the only place Cyclops shows up. I was real disappointed. Three out of five stars for me. It was still like a good story, but it wasn't what I was expecting and it may have taken my anger out on Goodreads. All right, let's get into some good books that I read this month. And that is Truth Witch by Susan Dunnard. I did just make a spoiler-free review, so if you guys haven't seen it, I will link it down below. Go check that out. I highly recommend this book. I did rate it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. And this is an incredible story about friendship and magical powers and it's all about a girl who um, is a truth witch and she can tell when she's lying and it's all about like people wanting her power and wanting to be able to control her or to kill her and it's all about her adventures with her thread sister Isolt who is a thread witch. It's an incredible read. If you guys don't know, go check it out and I will talk to you guys about it in my spoiler free review video. Next up in the month of January, I read Worlds of Ink and Shadow and this is, I do have a review video that will be going up very soon, but I rated this a 3.5 out, or 3 stars out of 5 stars, right? Yes, 3 stars out of 5 stars and this is all about the Bronte siblings, so we have Emily, Anne, Charlotte, and Branwell and it's all about, it's got like a little bit of magical realism and it's about them writing stories and being able to jump into their stories and act out the story that they're writing and it does come at a price though so there's the little um, hitch in the step so I did like it but it wasn't a fascinating read so if, if you are interested in the Bronte family or just about writing and being enveloped by your own characters in your own world I would recommend checking this out. Next up I have some, well actually the rest of these books are like feel good favorites of mine. I read Twilight. I always give this a 5 out of 5 stars. It is such just like a nostalgic 
book at this point that it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy every time I read it. Like I've said before, I know this book series has some problems in it, but I just love it. Like, I read this when I was a teenager, like, preteen, and I, like, go back to that every time, and I absolutely adore it. So, rated this a 5 out of 5 stars. Next up, me and Trevor listened to the Harry Potter series. We are finishing up on our yearly kick of Harry Potter, and so we listened to The Order of the Phoenix, which we always do all the Harry Potter books 5 out of 5 stars. They've got such great kick character development and they are again such like a nostalgic feel to it so we read Order of the Phoenix and we read The Half-Blood Prince which is my absolute favorite so five out of five stars for both of these and last but not least I read The Runaways the complete collection volume one so if you guys don't know this is a story about a group of kids who are all friends that are coming over and they are spying on their parents and find out that their parents are super villains and so they decide to become superheroes to fight their supervillain parents. This is written by Brian K. Vaughn, who also wrote the uh, Saga series, and I just absolutely love this. So it's got Brian K. Vaughn and Marvel and superheroes and, like, angsty kids fighting against their parents. I absolutely loved this. Five out of five stars. I can't wait to get to the rest of this series. It is so, so entertaining, guys. Go check this out if you're a fan of superheroes or just Brian K. Vaughn because his writing is pretty dang good. That is all for my January wrap up and let's get in on to my February TBR. So I think every February I really get back into my Goodreads group and so I am a part of a Goodreads group. It's open to anybody so feel free to come join. It is, I'll leave the link down below. It's like YA, let me, let me see. It's YA Buddy Reads Corner. That's the group that I am a part of and there's monthly challenges and what I really love about this Goodreads group is that everybody participates and everybody is so into it. So everybody is like goes all out and it's such a good book community. And I absolutely love it. So for this month, for February's um, challenge, I'll read you off. So what it is is you read books that fit categories and then you get points and then you're, you're sectioned off into groups. And then your groups are competing for... Um, points and whoever wins and things. There's no like prize, but it's just fun and I'm a competitive person so I love doing this. Um, so I will read you off some of the categories. So there's like, you get points for reading a couple on the cover, flowers on the cover, envelope or greeting cards on the cover, food on the cover, ring or jewelry on the cover, candle on the cover, hearts on the cover, red cover, a romance novel, dates first published in February, date in the title, love in the title, secret in the title, cupid in the title, kiss in the title, Books with an average of four or more ratings and titles that start with V-A-L-E-N-T or I. So, and then there's a, like a list of books you can choose from that are like romance novels. So obviously February is all about Valentine's Day and so I'm like, we, I'm already a part of this group and there is like, I've, that's what I have built my TBR around. Whew, sorry, talking really fast. Did you all know that there is like a slow down button on YouTube? I think that's pretty cool. So if you need to, hit that button down below. <laughs> so let's hop into um, February TBR. This is such a cute book and it's such a feel good, romancy, like make my heart happy book. And it's Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. It's a really short book, but it's such a fast and easy read. And it's got the title Kiss in it. So it works for my TBR and I'm excited to get to this in the book of February. Next up, now this one doesn't count for my February TBR, but I loved this so much last month that I had to pick this one up this month, which is Runaways the Complete Volume 2. And I'm so excited because the last one ended such a good note and such like a what that I am really, really excited to pick this one up as well. Next up this month, I am picking up Wind Witch, which I've actually already started. Um, I'm reading this one with Gabby over Gabs.Books. I will leave her channel down below. Um, this is by Susan Dunner. It is the second book in the Witchland series. The first one is Truth Witch. And I'm really excited to get to this because Truth Witch ended on such a good note yet again, and it like gave me goosebumps, and it made me think about the book like days after I was done reading about it. So I'm really excited to get back into the Witchlands world. Next up on my February TBR, I am so excited to be rereading this book, but it's got a special new cover and special content. Oh my god, I like freaked out when I saw this, and I was like, oh, I need it! And it was just really sad because I already own this book, but... It is Vampire Academy, but it's the 10th anniversary edition, and it's got over 100 pages of never-before-seen content in it. And, like, 
that's huge because usually like it's not 100 pages worth like you usually get a chapter or something but it's like you get so many good like stories that I've been dying to read so I can't wait to pick this one up I'm sure it's gonna be like a five out of five star read because I already love the normal book and I'm gonna be rereading it for the month of February but I can't wait to get to the last few um or the last hundred pages of this because it's got all this the new content so the new content in this book is the, the turn in the flame takes a deeper look into the dark stain on the Ozair dynasty from the journal of Vasilisa Dragomir unearths the princess private thoughts from a transformative period of her life the meeting gives us a glimpse of Rose Hathaway through Dimitri's eyes and Hello, My Name is Rose Hathaway tracks the shenanigans that ensure Sue when Rose and Dimitri become unlikely teammates in a high-stakes scavenger hunt. Guys, I'm so excited! Uh, definitely we'll be doing a review video of this one so I can let you know if you, this is worth picking up or if you guys can just skip it if you've already read the Vampire Academy series. Next on my list that I'm going to be picking up for the month of February, it's going to be Eclipse. Uh, I was really into the Twilight thing, like I got done with Twilight and I really wanted to read the rest of the so like series, but I really hate New Moon, like it bothers me for the lack of Edward and it bothers me from the whole like Jacob and Bella thing, like that's just not okay. I'm sorry if you guys are Jacob fans, but I'm not, I'm Team Edward. So I'm reading um, Eclipse and I like it again is such a nostalgic feel and I can't wait to get to this one. And last but not least I am picking up The Deathly Hallows and hopefully we'll be able to finish this in, in February which will I think be the earliest time that we've finished it in a while because usually like we only listen to it when we're together and we both work opposite schedules so we hardly ever get to see each other so if we finish this one I will be very very impressed because it is chunky and we do listen to it so I think that's like 30 hours listening to it but they are so worth it and this one's actually Trevor's favorite book so we decided to finish up the Harry Potter series yet again and yeah Hey guys so I totally forgot that I made the TBR jar until I was just staring at my pretty bookshelves and I was like oh crap I forgot to pull a slip out of my TBR jar and I would have a ton of books to read for the month of February but I'm gonna stick to my word and we are going to pull out a book and see what it is so let me grab my TBR jar by the way I reorganized my um, shelves do you like them? I'm not completely happy with them I think I'm gonna do a bookshelf tour in May out after there's a bunch of releases coming out so I'm excited to do that why is this so difficult to get off oh my gosh I should have opened this before I turned on my camera again use. Hold on. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> Why make a jar that you literally have to get something to pry it open? Why? Okay. So we got that done. Probably really loud for you guys. Okay. And among my giant TBR pile is going to be, oh, I've got two, is going to be <laughs> Six of Crows, which I'm really excited to get to. So yeah, that's what's going to be on my TBR pile next. So let me just grab that one. wearing leggings by the way <laughs> so six of crows by Lee Bardugo which is actually the first book that I've ever read or going to be reading by Lee Bardugo so let me know down below if I should start with this book or if I really should wait and do shadow of bone the like the Grisha trilogy before I start reading this book let me know down below I'm going to be adding this also to my TBR pile Wish me luck, guys. <laughs>
Let me know if what you guys are going to be reading in February. If you guys have any other fun Goodreads groups, please leave a link down below or tell me all about them. I would love to come join at your guys' groups and we can chat like on there too. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. God damn it. So I already filmed my th thumbnail once, guys. At least I thought I did until my camera wasn't on. So now I gotta pick up all these all over again. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, okay, let's try it again. Sorry, it's getting a real white balance here. Oh! <laughs> Nope, that's, that's gonna have to do. I can't lift it anymore. Oh. I love books for my workout. I'm kinda out of breath lifting that. Boy, that's sad.